Forward strokes primarily propel the boat towards the finish line, whether in canoe or kayak. Within slalom, it's rare to have to undertake a sustained straight line sprint with no considerations other than speed. The nature of our sport is that any sprints are usually short, generally less than three seconds, and during these we are normally trying to accelerate the boat up to speed post a technical manoeuvre, and the setting is confused by wave stoppers and a variety of flow directions. This means that we can't just lift the goal template of forward paddling from the sprint world and think it will do the job. However, there are a number of recognised scientifically supported technical prompts to consider. In this clip you will see an athlete attempting to accelerate the boat hard as they would in a real setting. This might compromise the example of the perfect forward stroke when not under load, but it does enable you to see how the technique changes as the boat speed increases. Practice on flat or gentle moving water in combination with open courses. Progress the intensity of execution from moderate to over race pace. So whether in canoe or kayak, we want to ensure the blade enters the water vertically so that the water doesn't slip from the blade as force is applied. Keep the shaft reasonably vertical so the force produced on the blade drives the boat forward, not left or right. Keep a strong posture throughout the stroke i.e. minimal side to side or back and forth movement, just rotation, so that the pulling force generated on the blade is effectively transferred through the arm and body and into the boat, launching it forward. Ensure that the stroke length is effective. As a general rule, when accelerating the boat, the bottom arm is often slightly bent to assist with maximum force development and the length of the stroke shortened to encourage a high rep rate. However, as the boat speed increases, stroke length and consequently arm extension should be encouraged to assist with the sustained application of high force. This model also means that initially because of the high rep rate, much of the force is generated by the arms, but as the boat speed comes up and stroke length increases, the big muscles of the back and torso can be recruited. This principle is similar to what happens on your bike when you use the gears to accelerate hard. So now let's have another look at that in its entirety. 